This training video was developed by the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading in the UK and is part of a range of resources aimed at researchers. The Data and Document Store, DDS. When do we need one? In general, we need DDS when we go beyond the situation when we have one researcher, one computer and one system to store data and documents. We as individuals do this on a day-to-day -day basis with our personal files. However, in our projects, we generally have a situation that is a little bit more complex. For example, we may have more than one person contributing data and documents to the DDS. In this case, someone needs to be responsible to receive them, put them in the appropriate place for the folder structure, and ensure that all these files are safely kept. All those involved need to agree on what the mechanism for delivery should be and on an agreed system to name files. Everyone should be aware of the structure of the DDS. A local DDS has too many risks, especially if a careful system of local backups does not exist. To reduce the risk of loss of information, the DDS should have a remote backup. In this case, the person who is responsible for the DDS takes the whole data structure and uploads it onto a remote server from time to time, or even better, makes a backup of the DDS on pre-established dates. The next step in the evolution of the DDS would be to make the data and documents available to users directly from a remote DDS. This has two advantages. First, people will always be able to access the most up-to-date documents and data. Second, Access is possible from different locations provided that internet services are available. Of course, the project will need to set up permissions and a policy for access as is discussed later on. The DDS that we have in mind as a starting point for your project has the following characteristics. It has one person who is responsible for the maintenance of the DDS. It allows several researchers to contribute to the DDS and allows multiple users to access the DDS remotely. The basic model can evolve in a number of ways, but something that has already been pointed out by projects is that they would like to extend the functions of the DDS to allow more than one person to add data and documents to the DDS from different locations. This is a model that may evolve as the basic DDS format is used. However, to start with, we will concentrate on the basic setup. 